In 140 AD, a garrison of Roman soldiers marched from Rome all the way to northern Great Britain with their infamous logo of the Golden Eagle and never to be heard from again. Hi everyone, I'm film critic Jeffrey Gay Howard and today we're going to be behind the scenes of the new action film, The Eagle. Hi Channing. What's up, man? How are you? I'm doing great, man. Awesome film. Had thank a, you, sir. Had a blast with it. Thank you, thank you. And I really like that you really come into your own in this role, don't you? Because, I, I mean, appreciate that, man. you had to do some serious acting, some serious action, and... With some serious actors. Yeah, yeah with yeah. some serious actors, yeah. I mean, you stand across from even Jamie Bell, much less like Donald Sutherland or Mark Strong, I mean, it, they're, or, or Tahar. I mean, they, they're all at the top of their game. And, you know, when you look around and you can't figure out who's the weakest link, that is you. <laughs> you know, and you're just like, oh, okay, all right. You know, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta try to, you know, I gotta try to step it up. And you have a dual story going on. You have uh, to restore your uh, honor and your name to your Roman family, mm -hmm. and then you have this in bizarre friendship between a slave and his master. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Jamie and I talked a lot about it. You know, and, and he's kind of lost his faith, and that's all I really have is my faith. And you know, we can end up meeting in the middle. You know, and I get, I get to see. Probably what Rome is, uh, you know, through Esca's eyes, you know, and that kind of makes me, you know, cha change my change my tune a little bit. If I can't win back my family's honor by being a soldier, then I'll do it by finding a lost eagle. You can't. No Roman can survive north of the Wall of Oz. You can't. Then I'll take Esca. I can use his knowledge. He speaks the language. Esca? Why not? Because he's a Briton. What were we talking about? I have no idea. We were how, talking about the how, eagle? No, the eagle. How miserable you were making yes, this movie. Pretty miserable. Yes. Pretty miserable. I was miserable. Feel, I was feeling for you. Right. I saw the wind. I saw the elements. And I saw how dirty you were from uh -huh. beginning to end. Yeah. And I thought, man, well, there's some days you're like, I'm not coming out of my tent. <laughs> uh, some days the tent blew away. Uh, <laughs> so there was, uh, there was no way to hide, really, you know. But. Uh, Kevin McDonald, the director of this film, you know, um, has a history in documentaries. I think that's the way he kind of approaches his films. He likes uh, the films to feel visceral and real and authentic. Um, you know, if it requires the Highlands of Scotland, we're going to go to the re remote part of the Highlands of Scotland and do it. Um, but as an actor, that had to you had to feel that. Well, no, I mean, yeah. also I appreciate it because yeah. the story needs it. It requires it. You know, the whole story is based on the idea that this guy is going to go on this crazy mission, this suicide mission. Um, uh, with the enemy into this unknown uh, frontier, which is incredibly dangerous and incredibly treacherous, um, and they're going to try and retrieve uh, this thing that's going to restore his family's honor. Um, you know, and it, it just it, to really feel like uh, we're really in that time period, I feel like we did need to go to some of the most rem remote parts of the Highlands that we could find, and we did. I was so excited about this movie. Oh, great. Because of watching your interview and your commitment to detail and yes. historical accuracy. Yes. And I, I just have so much admiration for that. Because you know Hollywood, you know, who's going to notice on a military uniform that that's the wrong insignia <laughs> or something like that? But watching all the craps when you brought together yeah. this film, and you knew the story for the longest time, right? Yes. So it's been a long time coming. Yeah, huh? no, I, I, I read this book when I was a teenager. And uh, it's a kind of classic in Britain. I don't think many people here in the States have read it, but it's a, it's a great adventure story. Um, and I grew up in Scotland, and it's about a Roman soldier and his slave who go across Hadrian's Wall, which is the end of the Roman Empire, into the unknown. And it's kind of like a cowboy movie. That's what I see it as. It's a cowboy movie, except instead of cowboys, you've got Romans. <laughs> instead of, <laughs> instead of um, Indians, you've got uh, sort of Celtic tribes people. But it was important for us to make a movie that went against the grain of what Hollywood is doing for the most part, which is huge CGI versions of, of Rome or of Greece or whatever, and fantasy elements. Whenever they do this kind of epic classical movie, it's, it's always got full of fantasy. And I wanted to make a movie that says, no, let's actually, it's more interesting to say this is what it was really like. And there's no CG. You're actually, um, uh, uh, you know, made to feel 
you know, this is how horrible it would have been to be in wet Scotland in the middle of winter when you just had a woolen cloak. It's really horrible. Including for you and the crew. For <laughs> us and the crew, particularly <laughs> for the actors, the poor actors. Miserable, yeah. Miserable, I saw the wind whipping and I saw the mud and I thought, wow, that's not a computer effect. Yeah, these no. guys are... And that's a, that, but it, of course it makes great performances because, you know, when Channing in, in throughout this, the latter part of this film is meant to be a character who is being broken down, who's being sort of almost being made deranged by being beaten up and... The, the, the exertion he's having to go through. Well, he actually was having to go through that. <laughs> and so, you know, the rain, going in cold rivers, the walking up mountains, the, the kind of the, the hardship. And really good for the actors because it makes them feel you're actually in this. Definitely had to go to a Roman boot camp, I would think, for yeah. this movie. Yeah. That's what they called it, too. It was, uh, it was Legionnaire Boot Camp. <laughs> and it was really educational of why they did things and, and how they did things. I, the Romans were some of the most efficient fighters of all time. So take me through a typical day of training for this role. I wake up about you know eight. Uh, you leave about eight thirty. You go to. Usually we would do. Um, usually we would do. I think sword training first. We go and we would do about three to four hours of sword sword training, the choreography, and just just basics, you know. And and then after that, Jamie and I would go to um, horse training, and uh, you know we'd ride for about you know two hours or two or three hours, and I would go and do chariot training, which didn't actually make it didn't make it in the movie, but. Um, uh, that was actually insanely scary and cool, uh, and then and then we would go to boot camp, like legionnaire camp. Where I would do that for like an hour or so, and then we would do um, uh, actual rehearsal for the film. A lot of physical action in this. Yeah, uh, a lot of preparation for it. I'm tons, sure. yeah. tons. I never ridden a horse before. Totally had to learn how to do that. You know, lots of uh, fight training with the swords and stuff, figuring out all the sequences. I had to learn the language that my character speaks because he speaks that native language and uh, learn to eat rat. Learn to eat rats well. <laughs> <coughs> that was learn, gross. Learn to survive uh, <laughs> no, uh, Scotland in November. How did you guys bond? Because early on, you know, the chemistry had to work between you both, and you yeah. were going to carry most of the film. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the dynamics of that relationship that kind of, uh, you know, drive the movie, basically. I mean, I think the first time we, we meet my character, for example, you know, I'm a guy who's got nothing left. I mean, he's got no family left. His, his culture's been wiped out. His tribe has been wiped out. And now he's enslaved uh, by the very people who took that away from him, you know. And I feel like when in that ring when Marcus kind of saves this guy's life and spares him from death, you know, my character's like, why would you do that? I was kind of very willing to die, you know, and then the, the, and that's where the relationship starts. It already starts honor. on bad terms, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But they're also enemies. It's not like these guys get together and they're the best of friends, yeah. you know, immediately. It's, there's, there's a lot of um, uh, treachery that goes on in that relationship. There's a lot of mistrust and betrayal and kind of feeling each other out. You know, these guys are enemies, after all. I just wanted to be in a tent the whole time, but you're out there half naked with the wind blowing, and it just looked miserable. All the training in the world could not have prepared us for how unbelievably unforgiving it was going to be up there. It's just, even the people that live up there, they don't go out without, you know, this thick of rubber on, and, and, and it's, it's, just, it's just insane that what we did. You know, and the crew as well. I mean, it wasn't just me and Jamie. It was... I don't know how the, the, the whole, all the frames aren't sh just shaking because, I mean, we were all just freezing up there. But you actually had to create the seal people, right? That was the only yes. thing in the movie that wasn't historically accurate. Y yeah. You created an entire culture. Exactly, and it, because nobody really knows what, they know what the Romans were like, you know, you, there's a lot of archaeology and a lot of books, obviously, but the, 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 the tribes in Scotland, nobody really knows because there's tiny little bits of evidence you know we know they worship seals and sea eagles and that kind of thing we know from some descriptions that they painted their faces so you take these few little things and you say right i want to create a real culture what would actually if, they, if you have the seals and you have the eagles and you have the, you have the painting of the faces what you know what else exists around that and i didn't want them just to be a kind of like indiana jones like her horrible tribe i wanted them to, to feel oh there's some humanity to them i understand this culture um, so it's kind of a bit anthropological, and, and, and so we kind of spent a lot of time working out, you know, what is their life? How do they subsist? And um, to create a kind of, hopefully, a rounded, a rounded feel for those people. I, I noticed, I don't know if it was on purpose, there was a transition you did where Channing was getting his face wiped by one of the seal mm. villagers, and it went right to the horse. He yes, that's a beautiful transition. I that. saw it because it was a wipe and a wipe. I yes. thought, was that on purpose? Or? Yeah, no, that's very much on purpose. Uh, <laughs> I, that, was that scene there with this old lady... Um, who happened to live in the little village near where we shot, and she came in as an extra, and she's incredible, beautiful face, old aged face with wrinkles. And, you know, Channing has been brutally treated, and he's, he's now captive of this tribe, and he's made into a kind of slave. And, 
you think that he's just going to be continued to be beaten up and that he's going to be treated, you know, horribly. But actually, this old woman, you know, gives him something to eat and gently wipes his face. And you see, oh, well, they're human beings too. They're, you know, they, they're doing what is part of their culture. Yes, they're brutal to him in some contexts, but in other ways, they're quite nice. And I think that just makes it feel real. And then, so you see the gentleness of that, and then you go to the horse, and Channing is now a slave, and he's having to actually clean the horses like the slave would. So, it's a, yeah, it's just a nice transition. Who has the eagle? They say the seal people have it. How do I find them? He knows. He's Brigantis. They fought here. Do you have a favorite moment in the film? Because the opening scene where you were doing the battle with all the shields yeah. up above, that was so exciting. There's, I mean, there's, God, there's so many in, in this movie. I mean, uh, the, the running down the river and, and stuff like that. But it, there, was, there was a moment uh, in, in the movie that was just really sort of, it's really kind of telling. You know, it was, uh, it was uh, we're, we're out in front of the fort where we're going out and trying to save the, save the men. And we got a, you know the defensive circle around the men, and we're losing the light, and it's one of the last things we're shooting for that day. And so Kevin was just like he threw on new mags on each camera, uh, all the cameras. I can't remember if we had two or three, and they just shot, and they they just were like hold the circle, and it was just melee. And a mag runs, I don't I don't remember exactly how far it runs, but it runs about seven to ten minutes, I think. And we just fought, we just held the circle, I mean, it was just a just a grueling slamming battle you know and every once in a while slashing you know close to somebody and it was we were fall down tired after that I mean it was I don't know how these guys did it for weeks at a time but probably the most bizarre thing is that my my mother's mother my grandmother right. her name was Eska no way no kidding That's I, mean, a I great thought, name. I, thought nice I heard name. It, she spells it E-S-K-A right. which is uh, like a Cherokee I think it's an Indian name mm -hmm. so yeah it carries mm -hmm. on but uh, when your character is named Eska now wow yeah there's the relationship yeah, absolutely. right there <laughs> absolutely absolutely That's great. excellent job man I had a Thank blast you. with her Thanks Thank so you. much. Yeah. Take care.